Yo. Me and a friend of mine just tore this thing up. This was a whole car when we started. He might take the tires and rims. We had to get an inner fender and a radiator and a fan and uh, some fender parts, inner fender, a cheesy headlight and a door because his daughter felt like playing the Dukes of Hazard with their Jeep and uh, messed it all up and we're gonna fix it. We got the thing here in my garage. Took it on about a 10 mile drive down the highway to get here so it drives okay. Actually went airborne with it and this is what happened when it landed. I guess it was in soft soil and the wheel was cranked one way so it broke the beads on both of the tires and put dirt inside the beads and they actually kind of held a little air but they were leaking like crazy so the tires had to come off take them to a tire store and get the beads cleaned and put back on the reason why she had the wheel cranked one way really hard when she was uh flying in the air is because um she was getting a little too close to a tree so she had to do that to dodge a tree and luckily she didn't hit the tree with the front of the car wiped out the side a little bit so needed a door this passenger door still opens and closes nice and the window is still in one piece so we're gonna keep that lovely looking piece of hell on here we're just gonna get this thing rolling good enough you can see in there the window is shattered because the window was down when she landed. For some reason when they bought the car, they only bought this car a month ago and there was no inner fender on this side. So we got an inner fender for it. This is why we need a radiator and a fan shroud. It totally busted the fan shroud. There's enough dirt over here to grow a garden. I don't know how the heck dirt got all the way up that far. That's all wet, but that's from the leaking radiator. It was leaking like midway. So there was enough coolant in here to get us here, thankfully enough. I don't know, this power steering line is just flopping around. It's supposed to be bolted to something. I don't know what. The rest of this trail rated Jeep took everything pretty good. Trail rated my foot. It ripped the skid plate right off of it. Supposedly somebody went back and got the skid plate after they got the heck out of there. But I don't think it's gonna go on there very well because all the mounting holes are ripped right off. There was a little dent in the rim. I don't know if that was there before or what. I guess it rolls okay. The big gash inside the rim. It must have just got a big old rock embedded in it or something. And there's the core support. I was thinking I could just bend it back. But I don't think that's going to happen. I need, I need a straight core support for the bottom of the radiator. Um... So, the guy said he's going to go back and he's just going to cut right here on both sides of the core support from the car we already robbed parts off of. And I'm going to try to weld it in, I think, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Everything else on the car, amazingly enough, seems good enough to work with. And I guess um, this was kind of already dented when they bought the car and the headlight was kind of already screwed up. And I guess the girl hit something already too before she decided to play the Dukes of Hazard. We got to straighten all that out. He's getting a bumper cover for it too. Checking the refrigerant. Amazingly enough, even though the receiver dryer isn't bolted up to the radiator anymore, and the AC condenser is a little messed up, and it's not bolted to the radiator anymore. Yeah, it's a little messed up. 
even though the condenser is a little messed up it's still holding pressure so that's amazing I'm just gonna start tearing into this thing might as well start with the grill and the bumper you got these little clips you pull out the centers there's little clips on the bottom looks like this is still fairly straight the hood shuts kind of got these little clippy things same thing pull out the centers Anybody know the proper terminology for these clippy things? I like clippy things. I think that sounds the best. I have some 7 millimeters in both corners. And these plastic clips in the fenders, as far as I know, these are not reusable. It's basically a plastic rivet and it's not reusable. So you just got to kind of stretch them and mess with them and break them and do whatever you got to do. Get them out. I got some 10 millimeters on this thing that's supposed to be a core support. I got a helper now. He's a victim. Now I can just do some destructive behavior. Oh, I love destructive behavior. I got some fog lights I can unplug. I'm surprised they didn't break. Oh, just stop. Huh. The victim's taking off a washer bottle. I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call you victim. Yeah, it's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> the other victim should be here helping you. Yeah, she's at work still. The one who can't drive. That's for a low washer bottle. Oh, okay. See, now, now that the wire's broke, it's not gonna tell you that it's ever low. So it's always full. I got a couple 10 millimeters here. I think there's two 10 millimeters on top too, but they're broke. It's a wonderful Chrysler product. The bumper actually looks kind of straight. I'm gonna work on this radiator next. There's a drain in here somewhere behind all this dirt. Oh, there it is right there. And um, you're supposed to unscrew this drain to empty out this crappy leaky radiator. And it's right up against stuff. And um, the, way you, the way I'm going to drain this is with a pry bar and a hammer. And uh, that didn't work very good because the plug's still in there even though I busted part of the radiator right off. Here, let's, let's try some more destructive behavior. Time for the big hole. Ooh, we have a gusher. I'll leave the radiator cap on it so it doesn't make a huge mess. He's going after the door. And I um, figured it'd just be easier to take off the fender because we got the door with the hinges and I like to keep the hinges with the door. And then, and then we can just shut the door and just adjust it with the door all shut and on the thing. And there's like, there's plugs inside of here that he's got to take off. I'm going to take this thing off. Oh, that was easy. There is actually a couple bolts still on this radiator. There's a 10 millimeter here. Now these support brackets are broke, but I'll take them off anyways for the And then we're coming off. I got what looks like four 10 millimeters and two 13s for this upper core support I gotta take off. That belongs in Hickville, just like that. That's just cool. No front end, nothing but a bumper, no fender, no door. Yeah, we need to take this off-road now. Now it is trail rated. This is as far as my extensive body repair goes. Oh, that's pro, right there. No paint required. We'll get this upper radiator hose off. Hoser here. And a hoser down there that might make a mess. Now hopefully I can scroll this thing out of here. It's a little stuck and I, you know, I can't not wonder why it's stuck. This is why I wanted to do it this way. 
we just closed the door and then I just held on to it. Had to lift up on it just a hair and it's perfect. I suppose my next greatest feat is dealing with this um, lovely looking core support. I gotta get this wire loom off of it. Okay. Dude man guy cut a straight piece out of that other vehicle. And uh, somehow I'm supposed to try and make this work apparently. I'm just gonna whack this just before this bend so I have a little extra to work with. Get in here with a pry bar and kind of bend this a little bit. I'm actually going to cut these a little shorter. I'm going to square these up a little too. I'm going to get a ball peen hammer out. I'm going to crush these tubes in. While I get full of dirt. Now I want to, I want to do that just enough so I can get this bar up inside there. When I put this bar up here, I have to line up good enough. It's probably too far up right now, but that's okay because I can let it down wherever the radiator wants to be, and then I can just weld it up, and it should be good enough. And then just to keep this bar from falling down, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a ratcheting strap around the. Oh, it's just like new again. Or something. Time for the radiator and the fan thing. Yeah, I'm gonna strap this down a little better. I got this bent up AC core kind of bungee corded back right here so it kind of stays up and kind of out of the way, I think, maybe. Gravity is on my side, I hope. Amazingly enough, that hole right there is just about lined up, and it's in the peg. I think I'm going to try to start it. Yeah, I got that one started. Yeah, those bolts are going to line up too, and it's, it's not bent up enough to where it's going to hit the radiator. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm almost not believing my eyes. I'm going to weld up that bar now. The good enough dirty weld. And there it is, the finished product. I just gotta fill it up with coolant. It's almost black and blue, kind of fitting for uh, how that looks. Okay, bye.